Hello everyone. Today I want to talk about natural language processing or NLP and some of the amazing things that you can do with NLP. Um, natural language processing basically means getting a computer to understand text and help you with your analysis. So let's talk about some of the major tasks that are a part of NLP. And I have some of them listed here. Basically we have automatic summarization, core reference resolution, discourse analysis, machine translation, morphological segmentation, uh, named entity recognition or NER, natural language generation, natural language understanding, optical character recognition or OCR. Uh, we have part of speech tagging, uh, textual parsing, question answering, relation extraction, sentence breaking, sentiment analysis, which is pretty popular now, speech recognition, speech segmentation, target segmentation and recognition. We can do also word segmentation, word sense disambiguation, something called lemmatization or native language identification. You can do stemming, text simplification, text to speech, text proofing, natural language search, as well as query expansion and automated essay scoring and true casing. So let's discuss some of the cool things that natural language processing can help us with in life. The first thing I want to talk about is spam filters. Now nobody wants to receive spam emails and NLP is here to help fight spam and reduce the number of spam emails that you receive. So it's not perfect yet and I'm sure we still all receive some spam emails, but can you imagine how many you'd get without natural language processing? The next thing I want to talk about is bridging language barriers. When you come across a phase, uh, phrase or an, an even entire website in another language, NLP can basically help you translate it into something that you can understand. Investment decisions. So NLP has the power to help you make decisions for financial investing. You can read large amounts of text, such as news articles, press releases, etc., and can pull in the key exam in key data that you. Um, that you'll need in order to make your buy, hold, or sell decisions. For example, it can, um, it can let you know if there's an acquisition that's planned or has happened, which has large implications on the value of your investments. Data into insights. This is my favorite. So humans simply can't read everything that's available to us, and we have a lot of data available to us. So NLP helps us summarize this data that we have and help us, helps us to pull meaningful information out. So an example of this is a computer reading through thousands of customer reviews to identify any issues or conducting sentiment analysis. So I personally have an example of when I used NLP in my line of work. Basically, we conducted a very in-depth survey, which included about two to 3,000 um, survey respondents. And we had several questions that were open-ended, which resulted in us receiving unstructured text in response. So we had, let's say for the for this example, we had 2000 paragraphs of unstructured text. One thing that I was able to do was create an algorithm that can parse or categorize this text into um, about six categories using keywords for each category. This ended up saving a lot of time and it actually turned out to be really accurate. So thank you for watching the amazing things that NLP can do and please subscribe to the YouTube channel to be notified of all future content. Thank you.